What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, you guys, I'm going to be taking you through a simple um, setup of, of, a, of a Facebook custom audience. And I'm going to kind of walk you through my, my thought process and my strategy. Basic stuff, man. Basic, basic stuff that is super powerful. This is kind of the beginning of, of, of a Facebook ad campaign. Actually, this is the beginning of a, of a Facebook ad campaign. Um, this is kind of what you want to focus on. So what we did here is we simply um ran an ad let me refresh this page on this video just a few days ago okay um let me refresh the page here this video right here um right here okay so we've been running this for 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 about a week now it was posted on the 28th but it's been running for about a week as an actual ad um and this right here has now gotten, um, and this is under video views. Okay, so this this first one right here, um, let me show you here. See, this new layout of Facebook is a little weird, but you can see the numbers right here. I wanted to show you the, the actual views, but I guess I can, I can show you on the dashboard. But this is going to be ad number two. Okay. So this was ad number one and this went under video views. Okay. So that post is this one over here. Okay. So I can, in fact, let me refresh this. So this is the one that's, that's um, live right now. Okay. So 20,000 impressions, um, 10,000, yeah, 10,000 views. That's the reach right there. So we, we just hit 10,000 views on this. So here's, here's the, the strategy. We're running this for a week, okay, at $10 a day. So the budget is 70 bucks, okay? And that's this one over here. So what we do is we post the video on the business page first, and then we run the ad. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, it's actually the seventh day. So this ad will finish today. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a custom audience of everyone who viewed a certain percentage of the video, okay? And the reason why I'm going to set up that custom audience is so I can retarget them with Facebook ad number two, which is this one down here. Okay, so the first one went under video views. That's this first one, video views. What I'm going to do for the second ad, which is this one right here, is I'm going to run for conversions. And now we're going to start capturing leads. We're going to retarget the people who watched the first one with ad number two. And then as we build this custom audience of viewers, then we move on to Facebook ad number three in the, th in the third week and we retarget all the viewers from Facebook ad number one and all the viewers for Facebook ad number two. So we just keep building these custom audiences of people that are watching our stuff, engaging with our stuff, and we just keep retargeting. Um, we, we, from ad number two and on, we retarget with conversions, okay? So here's what I'm gonna do in this video. I'm gonna simply show you how to set up a custom audience of everyone who watches your videos, okay? So all you do is come in here to your dashboard um, into, your, into your ads manager and you're gonna click on these dots right here and we're gonna go to audiences. And all we're gonna do is simply create a, a custom audience um, of everyone who viewed a certain percentage of that video. Um, and you can choose whichever percentage you want, but um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna simply um, choose 25% and I'll show you how to do that. So we're here now, we click the blue, the blue button, custom audience. Okay. So as you come, as it brings us over here, what is, is, is super, super important is creating custom audiences of those who land on specific pages within your funnel or your website or whatever. But if you're running Facebook ads, you definitely need to be running it to a funnel to some type of landing page. So if it's not a video that you're running or if it, actually if it also a video, we're going to do a video for sure. But, but what I'm saying is under the website audience, it should be an audience of those. In fact, let me just show you. I just showed you, I just passed it right now. So right here. So I have already set up audiences of people who are visiting just the web page and not the thank you page, meaning they, they haven't opted in. They may have saw the first ad. They may have clicked on learn more. They came over to the actual web page, the landing page, right? The opt-in page. Those that came here, they're being tracked by the Facebook pixel, which is right here in the top right. 
So the pixel is tracking who lands here, right? But these are folks that didn't opt in. So they haven't, they haven't opted in and that's this audience right here. So now what I can do is I'm going to retarget all those people as well. People who landed on the, on the landing page, but did not opt in. And then I have leads. I have a custom audience for leads. As I go run Facebook ad number three and on with Facebook ad number two, we're definitely going to capture some leads. And so when it comes to Facebook ad number three and on, the reason why a custom audience of the leads, and these are people who land on the thank you page. So they come here, they opt in, they click submit, they go to the next page, that's the thank you page. That pixel is tracking that landing page. And also we've created a custom audience. So then when I go run ad number three and on, I can exclude this audience from seeing those ads because these are people who already opted in. So they don't, they don't need to keep seeing our ads, right? That's why that's so important. And then the appointment, same exact thing. If these people already gone through our funnel, they hit the landing page, they opted in, they've scheduled an appointment, they then land on the thank you for scheduling page. On that page, we have our pixel tracking. And on that page, we have set up a custom audience. So therefore, again, when we run future ads, we can exclude that audience from seeing any future ads. So this is basic, basic stuff, you guys, but this is so important, man. Um, I, I, I speak to countless business owners every single day. Um, and they tell me their experiences on Facebook ads and 10 out of 10 of them miss this basic step. And then they wonder why they're not capturing leads or they wonder why they're spending way more to capture a lead than they should because they're not segmenting their audiences. They're not categorizing their audiences, right? They're, 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 they're targeting everyone and, and you're going to end up spending way more money than you need to and not even effectively capturing leads, right? So these audiences are the basics. This is step one. Step one is your pixel. Make sure that pixel is on every single page within your funnel. And then, and then number two, make sure you're setting up these custom audiences. Now, again, these are custom audiences um, under the website um, um, function right here, this right here. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to set up a custom audience under the video views. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to choose a content type meaning we're going to we're going to choose which percentage do we want to create an audience around right so if it's a 5 minute video if it's a 20 minute video if it's a 1 minute video whatever do we want to capture an audience of those who watch 3 seconds of it those who watch 10 seconds people who either completed or viewed at least 15 seconds which is the through play um or do we want to we want do we want to retarget people who watched at least 25% so you can either start off with at least 15 seconds or 25%. Um, and again, it just comes down to the length of your video that would determine, you know, the percentage, you know, of an effective percentage. This is a longer video. Like he did a long form video on this. And that's another thing. I don't think it really matters on the length of your video as far as the video, like whatever you're doing, man, five minute video, 10 minute video. I've seen ads that are 50 minutes, like especially on YouTube. Like I literally come across ads that are an hour long. Like, uh, you know, you're watching one video and then all of a sudden an ad comes on that ad is freaking 60 minutes. And, and so I really don't think it, it matters how long it is because if you're really effectively doing this stuff, you're capturing, you're capturing audiences, you're creating audiences, you're creating custom audiences. So whether it's a 60 minute video or whether it's a six minute video, I'm going to capture an audience. I'm going to create a custom audience of those who watch 15 seconds of it or those who watch 25% of it right now, obviously 25% of 60 minutes is a bigger number than 25% of two minutes. But at the same time, it's kind of the same. It's actually the same. So, this kind of is all preference. Now, obviously, if you go higher and create a custom audience of those who watched 95% of your 60 minute video, that's going to be a small audience. So that's kind of how you want to determine it and how you want to kind of think of it. If I, if I create an audience of those who watched 75% of my 25 minute video, that's going to be a small ass audience, right? But if I have a one minute video, and I capture, and even that, e well, yeah, even that, like, that's my point. 
even a one minute video. If I create an, a custom audience of those who watched 75% of my one minute video, that audience is going to be smaller than those who watched 15 seconds. You know what I mean? So when you're just, start, when, when, when you're starting the campaign, you don't, you don't need to go that high. 95, 75, 55, 25%. You kind of don't need to go that high because all you're doing is 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 building the relationship. Like you're building your brand. That's why a lot of folks, a lot of businesses, they'll they'll want you know instant gratification. They'll they'll want results instantly when they've never ran an ad before, when the market doesn't even know who they are, when they're running ads to a cold audience. It's like, dude, it doesn't work that way. Like you have to roll out a campaign. That's why I tell people all the time, you can't just put 10 bucks towards an ad and think it's going to freaking blow up for you. It's like, dude, you have to be in it to win it. You have to be consistent. That's the number one key word that I tell clients every single day. I'm like, dude, do not run Facebook ads if you're going to Mickey Mouse it. Don't run Facebook ads if you're going to spend 15 bucks here and there. It's like, dude, you have to go all in because it's, it's the consistency of your pixel capturing this data that you need. It's the consistency of your face and your brand and your name and your image being seen in the newsfeed every single day, every single week to a specific audience. It's, it's, it's the consistency that allows you to win. You can't run one ad due to a cold audience. And all of a sudden people are going to freaking jump on the bandwagon. It doesn't work that way. Like look on my YouTube channel. Some of you guys are seeing this video right here for the very, 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 very first time. But the majority of you have seen multiple videos, like especially those that subscribe. Some of you guys aren't even subscribed to my channel right now. You're watching this video right now and you're not even subscribed. The people who actually are subscribed, those are people who watched multiple videos for me, right? So it takes me, it took, it, it takes anyone multiple videos on YouTube, especially for me. If I just put myself and I look at it from, from my perspective, I literally have to watch someone's video on YouTube multiple times before I even click subscribe, right? I'm not going to come across one video, see two minutes of his 37 minute tutorial and all of a sudden I subscribe unless I automatically know that this is the guy and this is the or this is the girl and this is who I want to learn from automatically but at the same time those chances are very slim it's very slim that I come across someone super randomly even if they're talking about the topic that I'm interested in it's very 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 slim chance that I come across someone I watch 30 seconds of their 10 minute video and all of a sudden I subscribe. That very rarely happens, man. Ask yourself, do, do you guys do that? Do you just surf freaking YouTube and just binge watch YouTube and just subscribe to any random ass person? You guys don't do that. You subscribe to people that you see multiple times that you've seen multiple videos from and then you'll smash the subscribe button, right? That's why some of you guys right now, in fact, a lot of you guys right now, because I know my analytics, a lot of you guys right now that are watching my videos are not subscribed right? Because you're coming across me for the very first time and wondering who the hell I am, right? You're not subscribed. You won't subscribe until you see multiple times, until you see me multiple times. So as you come back onto YouTube and you see another video from me, boom, you click on it, you watch it. Okay, cool. You might get some value and then boom, you may see me again, click on it. And then, and then you end up subscribing, right? Same thing with this, man. It's like, don't think you can run one ad and people are going to freaking all of a sudden drop their pants and freaking want to give you it all like it doesn't work that way so you have to start small but you have to you have to be consistent so in this case what i'm going to do is i'm going to be consistent with 25 percent we're going to start with 25 percent okay and then what we're going to do is we're going to choose video and it's going to be this one right up here actually you know what make sure you're in the right page so let's choose let's let's choose the right page it's going to be this one right here and then it's going to be this one right here so yeah so 83 8,300 three second views. We're going to go with that. Look how long this video is, dude. It's 27 minutes. That's this video right here. This video right here is 27 minutes. 27 minutes long. Look at that. 27 minutes long. So that's a long ass video, right? But at the same time, dude, again, we're building a custom audience of those who watched 25% of it. And in fact, um, actually, that, that's fine. I'll, I'll do it later. Um, but let's do this, let's do this, let's do this. So I'm gonna click on that video, okay? I'm gonna come down here. Let's click on, let's check mark, check box that. We come down here, we hit confirm, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna name it. I'm gonna name it, um, 
um, 25% of intro video. Okay. Let's create audience. Okay, perfect. So it could take up to 30 minutes for your audience to be ready for use. Okay, so we hit next. And then I can create an ad using this audience right now. I can go straight from right here. Um, yeah, we can go straight from right there. But what I got to do first is I have to create a custom conversion, which I'll show you guys how to do that on the next video. Okay, so check out this next video. I'm, I'm not even going to change. I'm going to go straight into it right now like I'm freaking Superman. I'm going to leave my cape on and I'm going to freaking, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end this video right here because I don't want to mix the two topics. Um, but that's custom audiences. So now we have this custom audience um, set up. Next, what I'm going to show you how to do. In fact, let me see if it's already if I've already done it. If not, then I'll I'll show you guys. Number one is that pixel. Number two is creating this custom audience, and then number three is setting up a custom conversion around the thank you page. Let me see if I've done that already. And if not, I'll show you guys how to do it in the next video. So we just click on custom conversions right here. Okay, so this is not the um, the one we're gonna be using. So what I'll do is I will show you, let me check the pixel real quick. Okay, 3512. Okay, so that's, this is a, okay, 3512, yeah, that's the right one. But this is a different, this is a different um, 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 con conversion. So I'm gonna create a custom conversion. Okay, so I'll show you how to do that on the next video.